Well, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. We we'll begin start here in just a second. We'll let everybody finish logging on. We've got Baltimore. We've got St. Louis, Oregon in the house tonight. Super exciting stuff. Everything that came in from the Charlotte International Convention. Young Cat Frosty here in the background. He's happy to be a part of this. Look, everyone's excited over this. Hopefully he doesn't scratch me. Hey, be quiet back there. All right. It's the end land by another minute to go as we get going. It was an unbelievable weekend, incredibly crazy. Um, I'm super excited, and I'm going to have one last sip of espresso before we get going here. All right, great stuff. It is 9.30 on the dot. I have 9.30 Verizon Flash Wireless time. Let's go. So, look, I have 29 slides to get through in 30 minutes, so I'm not going to take a ton of time introducing myself. I'm a regional vice president, Stacy and I, with – ACN uh, that we've been in six and a half years. I've been to 26 international conventions and this one blew me away. The company reinvented itself again and brought on an entire new industry that really um, this identity theft protection that we brought on is an entire company all unto itself outside of all the services we offer like electricity, natural gas, internet, television, cellular phone on Verizon and Sprint, um, our credit card processing that we have, our home automation system where you control your home from your cellular phone. Now we have identity theft protection where just like people get homeowner's insurance and automobile ins insurance and you have to have those things, you're going to get identity theft protection as we become a connected world, more connected than ever, um, you're going to need this identity protection. And so is everyone else. So I'm super excited about that. So let's get into it. Here's what we're talking about. First of all, what is identity theft? Identity theft occurs when someone uses your identity or personal information such as your name, your driver's license, or your social security number. Oh, really bad connection on the webinar, she said, only getting syllables. Oh. Well, we'll have to see what uh, we'll have to see what happens. Hopefully, it's going good. If you are, give me a thumbs up. So, when people steal your information, they can do unspeakable damage to you. Terrible, terrible damage can come to you, and it's an actual crime. But here's the thing: it rarely gets prosecuted because it's so hard to find these people that steal the identity. It rarely gets prosecuted, so it just encourages more people to do it. Look, every two seconds someone is a victim of identity theft every two seconds that means in the last two minutes we've been on 60 people have had their identity stolen one every five americans has already been a victim of identity theft and we're expecting it to increase exponentially consumers reported almost a billion dollars in total fraud back in 2017 it's already bigger than that in 2018 they haven't added it up but they know it's going to be bigger. And here's the weird part. This was scary to me. Some identity theft victims do not find out for three years or longer. Like these thefts will occur and these, uh, these things will keep your information. And then what they'll do is they'll use it when the time goes becomes right for them. It's crazy. And you don't even know that it happens. Here's a really scary part. Look, every person that has a child needs to listen to this. Child identity fraud will affect 25% of kids before they turn 18. Now think about that. Why would someone ever want to see? Let's see. They could maybe use that kid's identity for 10 to 15 years before they ever go out to get a checking account or a credit card or buy a car or something like that. So here they could operate like a completely different person for a decade or more by stealing a child's identity. And so that's big. Every parent out there needs to protect your kids. We're going to talk about that here in a little bit. So types of ID theft. Medical. This one got me. Medical. People will use your health insurance to get medical care, that's one of the things was they need a really expensive procedure. They'll go and get it done after they steal your identity. And we're talking about how that happens in a little bit. Taxes. People can fraudulently file a tax return. You're thinking, why the heck would they ever do that? 
employment, people use your social security number to get a job. Like it or not, there's people in this country illegally who can't have jobs. And uh, it's they would like to live here and have jobs, so they just steal your identity and go job in your name. And then you could get stuck with the tax bill for that. Yucky, right? Uh, child, child uh, scammers sometimes use children's social security numbers and other information in new accounts apply for government benefits, take out loans, and even more. You can go buy cars, rent uh, homes and apartments with your kids' information. Crazy. Um, criminals use your identity when they get caught committing a crime. How about existing account takeover? Criminals access and drain your existing accounts. That happens to senior citizens all the time. They click on a link on a website and boom, all their money's gone. New account people, like I said before, they'll take out loans, credit cards under your name and you're on the hook for them uh, a thing they call synthetic it's a combination of fabricated and real data to create a single fake identity like maybe they'll use their uh, your social security number and your name and your birth date but they'll go out and use their address and everything like that and they create a whole new identity with it really interesting way they uh, do it these people are so crafty if they just, uh, and they're so smart, if they took that intelligence and put it to good, think of all the good they can do, but they're not going to. They're going to do bad with it, okay? And there's also a state identity theft where they'll use a deceased person. Oh, my gosh, a dead person. They'll drain accounts, set up new loans, steal government benefits, and more. I thought that was awful. But it's trick where you put your card in you swipe it out at a gas station or atm and the thief has put a little electronic magnetic i'm not even smart enough to know what it is but it looks like the machine and it's magnetically steals the information on your credit card just like that just swiping it to get a tank of gas or something like that it's crazy of course mail theft we know how that works change of address stolen wallets your purse gets lost right malware and viruses we all know about that Online shopping, of course, you buy something online, it can be stolen. But here's the one that was the big wake up. This one shook a lot of people. The dark web. We're like, what's the dark web? What is it? Never heard of it. What is it something special? Well, it's the internet, but it's the ugly side of the internet. Now, some of you might be thinking ugly. It's way uglier than that. There's a part of the internet where you can do uh all the black market things that you ever thought of that you thought were like rumors and stuff like that, it's real. You want to buy human organs? You want to buy humans? You want to buy drugs? You want to buy guns? Uh, human trafficking? All the bad, awful things you could ever think of are on the dark web. Criminals know how to access it. And you know what? A quick Google search, some teenager in his bedroom can do it. That's what they're selling on the dark web. Who guessed it? Your identity. They're selling your identity. Look, social security numbers for sale for a dollar. Your social security number for sale for a dollar. And they're selling it to everyone so people can go out. And then there's actual hacker conventions. There was one in Las Vegas while we are in Charlotte. A hacker convention to teach people how to hack. That's right. It's out there. And so here we are at this convention for good in Charlotte and feeding hungry kids and learning how to change people's lives and all this positivity at the exact same time. There's a giant hacker convention going on in Las Vegas teaching people how to steal your identity and worse on the dark web. Awful stuff. And you know what? You're not going to know. Most people aren't going to know about it till it affects them. And that's where you're going to come in because you're going to bring this to life because we're only getting more and more connected. There's also a thing called phishing. We know what those are, email scams that come in, right? Most of those end up in your spam folder now, but you still get them. Old people fall for it all the time. They click a link that looks like their Amex website, and they say, you know, they're putting their We're from the IRS. We're from the Sheriff's Department, blah, 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 blah. And you give them some information, and they hack you that way. And then smishing, smishing, <laughs> sounding kind of weird, but smishing is a text scam. And you know what? I got one today. Today it came in where it said, "Hey, thanks for joining our our uh, our, our club, and we need you to fix your profile." And it had a link. You click the link, and it wants all your information. 
So smishing, watch out for those. And then the biggest, biggest of them all, and this is the one I can almost guarantee you has happened to you, and it's data breaches. Data breaches are where giant companies that store your information, they've been breached, hence the name data breaches. So what kind of companies would be breached? Well, first of all, I want you to know over 446 million records have been exposed in 2018. That's more than the entire population of the United States. 14.2 million credit card numbers exposed in 2017 and 158 million, you heard that right, 158 million social security numbers exposed in 2017. So not small numbers, here they come, here comes the companies. You figure they were somebody you'd never heard of, right? Wrong, ever heard of a company called Equifax? You know how many credit bureaus there are? There's three, guess what one of them is, Equifax. And if you've ever bought anything on credit, you're on Equifax. And yes, Equifax had a data breach. The Credit Reporting Bureau had a breach. Sony, JP Morgan Chase, ever done any banking with them? Yep, that you have. How about Target or Target, as we call it in the Lambright family? We like to be ritzy. Target. How about Yahoo or Marriott? Ever stay at the Marriott? Well, check this out. Yahoo data breach in 2013, three billion user records exposed one third of the world user records exposed 350 million dollar uh impact biggest data breach of all time you ever use yahoo your stuff's on the internet equifax data breach 148 million user records exposed over 600 million dollars that included social security numbers folks so if you have ever bought anything um and you have your information in the credit bureau right bureau bought a house or a car forgot a credit card or any type of bank loan you're in Equifax, uh, your social security number is for sale on the dark web, most likely. And you won't know until they use it. How about the Marriott? The Marriott data breach, half a billion million guest information is exposed. And guess what? It included emails, mailing addresses, and passport numbers. That was great. My friend JJ McCarthy has been traveling to, uh, to Columbia with me. I know you signed up for this right away because where'd we stay all those times? We stayed at the Marriott and this just happened just last year um, when we were actually staying there. So there he goes, one of the biggest data breaches of all time. The Marriott, your passport numbers now. Yeah, right? Okay, next one. This one happened on Friday, believe it or not. One billion people's personal data was breached the data exposed with this company called Verifications IO. It's, it's something that other companies use to verify people's information, right? Email addresses, names, gender, date of birth, employer, details of social media accounts, and even home addresses. So Verifications.io took down the website so the leak was uncovered, but too late, a billion. Yes, you were probably included in that if you have a social media billion people. Guess what? The thieves don't want to steal from poor people. They want to steal from the rich people. So your information is probably on there. So ID theft, the industry market share. Here's the thing. One company, Lock, owns 25% of it. The rest of the 80 companies make up for about the other 70%. Okay? So I want to give you an idea. One company is the major market share. And when you hear when you hear what the market share is, it's not major. But they own a quarter of it. And the rest is made up between intersections and 80 other companies. So why is that important? Because right now, out of all the current ID theft customers that are out there, only 16 million people are protected. 125 million people are still available. Why is that important to us in the ID theft protection uh, industry? Us, right? Which is what we're in. Why is that important? Here's why. Because people don't know what they don't know. Look, when people first started buying houses, there was no homeowner's insurance. People said, hey, you need to insure your homes. People said, no, I don't think so. Some people lost their homes to fire and burglary and things like that. And all of a sudden they go, ooh, homeowner's insurance is a good idea. And they started having homeowner's insurance, right? Cars came out. People said, you should get car insurance. People said, I'm not getting car insurance. They got into a wreck and realized having to make a payment on something that was back uh, bad idea. It was better to pay car insurance in a lot of states, right? You have to have car insurance. And the same thing is going to happen with ID theft. Here's when people get it now, right? The 16 million people that got it, I guarantee the majority of them that got it is because 
something bad happened to them and they're like, oh my God, that was horrible. I don't ever want to go through that again. I'm going to get ID theft protection. That's probably where those 16 million are that you see there on that on that pie graph, right? The 125 million, their data has already been stolen. It just hasn't been put together yet by the criminals to use it. That's why you've got to have the ID theft protection. They already got your data, folks. They've already got it. They're selling it on the dark web, fluffing pennies. And then they're doing conventions to teach people how to steal it. And it can be done by these teachers using their cell phone, their bedroom. It's simple to do. All you got to do is be protected. And we're offering it to people. So the market opportunity is huge. It's 125 million potential customers in the U.S. alone. And by the way, U.S., uh, we're, we're getting hit a lot. So the ID theft protection services market is poised to experience a incredible growth over the next five years. Now, why would it be taking off so much right now? Well, here's why. Because number one, social media has become so big, we put everything out there on social media. If you're watching this and you think you're protected, I want you to know that pretty much 24-7, you're talking to the internet. You're talking to the world. You want to know how you're doing it? Just be your best friend. Your best friend, this guy, this gal, whoever it is that you have that sleeps closer to you than your spouse, this person is talking to the world 24-7, 365 days a year, even when you're not on it. It's downloading stuff. It's uploading stuff. It's sending triangulation information as to where you are. Unless you're going to get rid of this and get rid of all your social media accounts and never use email again and stop using a landline telephone. You're at risk. It's every single person. And that's what we need to help people understand to be protected before it happens. Because once it's happened and they've taken your ID theft, they've, they've stolen your ID, too late. You know how the world's handling it right now? It's your problem. Lawyer up, baby. Get your money. Good luck. But that's why ID theft protection is there to protect you. We're going to see in a second what it's going to do. But look at this the global market for ID. Theft protection services expected to exceed 24 billion in the next six years. 24 billion. That was 4 billion in growth a year. 4 billion a year. How much do we do at ACN a year? A billion dollars a year in sales. This is expected to grow by 20, to grow to exceed 24 billion. It is 24 ACNs by itself. And that's why we are so excited about this. And we give you some success stories here in a second. So why would somebody want to use IDC? I mean, why not just go to LifeLock, right? LifeLock's right now got 25% of the market, of the teeny little bit of the market. They got 25% of it. Well, IDC has industry-leading technology. And we're one of us protection plans in the market. Here's what we decided not to do. We weren't going to be a cut rate protection services. There's some out there for seven, eight bucks a month or something like that, but they don't do anything. We decided we would be the premier with 24-7 world-class member support. We'd have a secure member portal, and we'd have also an app for iOS and Android, okay? And we would be a leader in this. We didn't want to be a price leader. We wanted to be the leader, the name, the number one, have the biggest share of market share, and you're going to see why that was going to work here in just a second. So IDCO has two plans. They have the platinum plan for an adult, $28.99 a month. No contract, nothing like that. They pay for it per month as they go. Then there's the second one, which is the platinum plus. Now, this is the one that I think most people are going to take. I'm going to take a drink. This one, one adult and up to 10 children for $34.99 a month. You can protect you and all your kids for $34.99 a month. And look. Kids are the most susceptible. Now, that's that was a hard part for me to get. They had to say that a few times to me before I got it. Your kids are the most susceptible. They're going to steal the kids' IDs before they steal the adults because it's going to be years before anyone finds out. But when you have our system, it's going to know immediately when somebody is going to monitor the dark web. You're going to see all of it here in a second. But it's going to know immediately if somebody tries to steal your kid's stuff. And look, your kids are vulnerable anyways. Like, right? I mean, we're getting our kids' cell phones when they're seventh and eighth grade. 
I mean, as soon as they get an iPad when they're three and they know how to connect to the internet, they're vulnerable, right? Then they are vulnerable and their social security number is being sold anyways on the dark web because um, they can just hack birth records and social security numbers <clears throat> and people are using them to create other identities, to get jobs, everything we talk about like that, right? So our plan is very inexpensive, a dollar a day to protect you and your kids. Are you kidding me? Totally worth it. it, it it's, it's a great value. So here's how it works. Number one, you have to enroll. Super easy to enroll, fill out some information. Uh, you complete your uh, user profile and then ID seal is gonna handle the rest. And then what's gonna happen is they're gonna monitor and alert. So it's great news that you're just gonna feel protected. They're gonna monitor it, then they're gonna alert you if something happens. If somebody tries to mess with your uh, email, if somebody tries to mess with your social security number, we're gonna go through the list of everything they have here in just a second. There's more than 600,000 dark web web pages. 600,000 dark web web pages. Trust me, you don't wanna go out there looking for them uh, because it is ugly and you don't wanna think that human beings could ever do the things that are out there on the dark web. But just know that selling your social security number is like a picnic on there compared to the crap that's going on on the dark web, okay? Black market forums, file sharing sources, all kinds of stuff that's going on there. What's gonna happen also is we're gonna resolve the issue. See, if your identity becomes compromised, one of ID Seal's US-based fraud protection specialists will help you. Because what, what happens if your ID gets stolen? What do you do? You go get a lawyer, you call the cops, and what do you do? Well, here, it's gonna be handled for you. You're gonna reach out to ID Seal, to people that all they do all day long is handle this, they're gonna know how to put you on lockdown, to lock lock your uh, credit your credit down, and also how to resolve the issues and walk you through. It's like having an advocate at a credit bureau working for you on the inside to help resolve any issues you may have with identity theft. And then this is the best part: included in all IDs for a million the zero dollar deductible. That first is associated with your identity theft recovery. Look, it's bad enough I have to look her up. I'm going to let you know about a YouTube uh, page. In fact, ID Seal has its own YouTube page. Everybody in here needs to go to the page. You need to like it. You need to put a good comment on it to help drive up the uh, the ratings within YouTube and watch the videos that are on there. The videos that you can share to your social media to help uh, educate people on this. Watch them yourself and then use them. Put them on your Twitter. Put them on your Instagram. Get them out there on your LinkedIn. Everybody here should uh, since you're all independent contractors have a LinkedIn. That's another video for another time. But reimbursement is big because there are real costs associated with when your ID gets stolen. There's a video on there about a girl who went to jail because somebody had stolen her ID and went out and had given her information when they were arrested. And then they left the country or disappeared. And then they came looking for her and arrested her. It took her three days in jail. There are all the stories about that. I can tell you from being in real estate sales and the old days back in car sales, lots of people who had their identity stolen years in the past still had issues every single time they went to buy something. They somebody full monitor alert, but resolve and reimburse with things you have to go through. Sometimes you're gonna have to lawyer up to get stuff done. Um, so our platinum plan lists everything on here. This is way too small to see. But I'm going to show you where to find that later. Um, but you're going to see ID seals on the left. We cover everything um, above and beyond the largest provider that's out there. We are a better value. So you're going to feel com confident um, doing this. Larry Adler just realized I didn't hit the record button. I'm so sorry, brother. I just looked up there. Hopefully you're recording it. Um, and then the platinum plan. Oh, there we go. Credit monitoring, credit reports and scores from the three bureaus, social security number, emails, credit cards, bank accounts monitoring, credit score tracker and simulator. This is the big thing. Digital dark spy, dark web monitoring, up to 10 emails, phone numbers, credit debit cards, your passport, your driver's license, and your medical ID card. Can you believe they're still in your medical? It's crazy. But doctors have the, like the least amount of cybersecurity and uh, they're stealing your medical records because everything's on there and it's easy for these hackers to hack into there and get your stuff on there. Um, some of them for fun at this uh, hacker con, they were changing your blood type. Yeah, so when you got sick and you went in there and you had to get a blood transfusion, it like almost killed you. They thought that was funny. That's the kind of stuff we're talking about. It could be life and death for you. 
How crazy is that? For fun, hackers switching out your blood type, crazy, right? Anyways, people are good. Most people are good. There's just a few bad apples out there, right? Sex offender monitoring. A guy uh, that I was talking to on Facebook showed me, literally found out about sex offender, walks by their house every day right there in his neighborhood and is going to ask his children uh, sent to me today on Facebook. Uh, social media monitoring, of course, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. Obviously, with social media, you're at ton of risk with that. Uh, it's part of life, especially with business. Um, you're going to be on there. It's going to monitor. 24-7 loss, wallet protection. You lose your wallet. They can literally lock you down in an instant one phone call. They'll lock everything that you have. And uh, it's cool. You don't have to worry. You don't have to freak out about it. And then $1 million identity theft coverage and insurance with zero deductible. That's a big thing. There's just a ton of confidence in knowing that if and when this happens to me, a zero deductible. All right, keep rolling here. Oh, Platinum Plus plan, one plus up to 10 children. See, guys, anybody out there who has kids that doesn't get this, they don't understand the value here of what's going on. To be able to protect your kids, your kids don't know, you know, kids are going to get stuff, they're going to get a text. In fact, Cece was telling me, James got a text while we were in the convention, and he showed it to her. She goes, don't click that. Right. It was a, it was one of those vishing, uh, smishing schemes on his phone, text message scam. But child social security number tracker, child email monitoring, dark digital, dark spy, dark web monitoring, social media monitoring and a million dollars of theft coverage all for up to 10 children. That's great. It's not thirty four ninety nine for each kid. It's thirty four ninety nine total. And your 10 kids are covered. All right. Three step sign up process. Signing up is super easy. Here's one of the reasons that uh, Tony Kubis was so excited. And when his excitement finally came through to me of uh, the process, I got so excited I couldn't sleep. And that's the fact that it is a three-step sign-up process. It's so simple. People are going to enroll, fill out the information, which is their personal information. Then they're going to authenticate. They're going to send, they're going to authenticate that they are who they are. The system's going to ask them a few questions and then they add their monitored information. What do you want to have monitored? I would tell you guys, <clears throat> put everything in there. Put it all in there. There were people that signed up that found out they got hurt. They've, they had already been compromised. There were people that were sitting in the arena. They plugged their information in while they were sitting there, and they got alerts back that they had already their information was already stolen and was out there. And they had to work on that, starting to work on it. So you know, uh, just so you know, it's two points per account upon authentication. So a couple, husband and wife, would be four-pointer, okay? Once they authenticate. No points until they authenticate. All right, just want to make sure that's clear. All right, customer enrollment, really, really easy. Name, phone number, unique email address, create a password, your address, your credit card information. Step one, done. Step two, customer authentication. Enter your personal information, social security, create a security question, then verify your identity. Really simple. They're going to ask you some questions that only you would know the answers to. Typically, like, have you ever lived at such and such address? If, if you see an address you lived at, you click it. If not, you would put, I've never, none of these, right? It'll ask you, have you had a car loan out between such and such dates for such and such amount from such and such place? And if it's none, you would put none. Everybody's pretty much been through those authentications before. And then you add your monitored information again. Add everything you have to put in there. Don't forget your passport. Wow, passports at Marriott, that's scary, especially for international travelers. I've been going back and forth. It's really scary having your passport number stolen because U.S. Customs and Border Protection does not mess around, man. And to have somebody else have your passport, oof, it could get real ugly real quick. Would not like that. Okay. ID so business services coming soon. So uh, I'm very excited to see what that's going to do for businesses to be able to protect uh, them and their customers, that would be great. So ID SEAL, here's the thing. Training is key. Training is key. Just, I want you to remember this. People that make the most in life train the most. If you look at athletes, right, the athletes who make the most money are the ones who do what? They're the ones who train the most. They do the most training. They're going to make the most money. You're going to need to do some training on this. Here's the beautiful part. On your phone, ACN Compass app, you can download it, and we now have on-demand training in there that will track your progress. You can put what you've learned to the test, interactive knowledge checks. I love that. Not only does it train you, but then it questions you, and if you don't get the questions right, 
go back and redo it because it means you missed something, right? And there's a seal. You can earn your ID seal badge for completing all the modules. Well, how do you complete all the modules? Well, you just start with the first one and you work your way through. Make sure you do the training. And also recommend if you have teams, here's what we're doing in Columbus on Saturday. We're having our normal Saturday meeting. And then afterwards, we are having an ID seal workshop. That's right. Bring your list. We're going to hammer out some text messages to people to start getting the word out. Okay. Here's what else I would do if I was you. I would start a, a conversation with people that you know. Let them know you just got back to a huge convention in Charlotte, North Carolina, and your company launched a brand new product. It's called Identity Theft Protection. You sign for it yourself, and it's great. You learn some amazing things and scary things that are going on out there, and you're concerned for them and their family, and you want them to take a look at it. You'll, you'll find all of this in the development center here. You can check it out. But it is important for people to know because here's the thing. Once it's too late, it's too late. Give them nothing to steal with ID seal. Give them nothing to steal with ID seal. That is our model. And the idea about it is this. Paying car insurance sucks, right? But there is no better feeling in the world than knowing that you've got a zero deductible, full coverage, full comp uh, uh, car insurance when that idiot crashes into you on the road and it wasn't even your fault. But you know he's driving some jalopy and you're driving a nice car and he runs into you. You know you're covered whether that idiot's got insurance or not and that you're covered. It's not going to be any money out of your pocket. You're going to get – you're going to call your insurance agent. Everything's going to be handled. They drive you up a rental car. You get into that rental car and your day goes on as if nothing happened, right? They take the car away. They get it fixed. And they return it to you and your driveway shined up and full of gas when it's done. And it's all handled. Isn't that a great feeling? I mean it sucks because it happens but wouldn't it really suck if you didn't have insurance and you didn't have anyone to call and now you're trying to figure it out on your own you're trying to get the body shop stuff on your own you're trying to call the rental car company on your own i'm using a car accident analogy because we all pay car insurance now it's just second nature we don't like paying it but it feels good to have the security when we're driving along and that idiot's tailgating us right behind us that we're covered the same thing is going to go on with this. Look, once you dig into this and you start watching the videos on the ID Seal YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to it and click the notification bell. Once you realize that uh, the bad stuff that's happening out there is going on and the fact that you've probably already been compromised, and if you haven't been, you will be in the future because this ain't going away. We're only going to get more and more connected. Right? We already talk to our homes and have them turn the lights off and on things. Always listening. If you have Siri or the Google app, Siri is always listening on your phone, right? The phone always listening. We're going to be more and more connected. ID theft is going to continue to go up. So it's going to become very commonplace. We just have to get the word out to people. We're consultants. So it's going to be great for your customer counts. So Mr. Solomon and Ms. Gabriel decided that they believe – that this is the next big game changer. And I 100% believe with them, but they took their wallets and they put them on the table. And they said this, the IBO that gets at least 40 points, so that's 10 couples, right? That's not right any theft yet. 40 is the minimum. There's going to be a race for everybody 40 and above to see who got the highest point total. They're going to pay for your plane ticket and your hotel registration for San Jose. So it's a free ride to San Jose, free plane ticket, free hotel room. Make sure they put you at the Fairmont. Sorry, guys. I just took your big fat wallets and put them on, put them on blast there. But um, you can get a free trip. It's good to the 10th. Whoever gets the most accounts by the 10th that have authenticated by the 11th, the most points from it, is going to win it as long as you have 40 or more. And I know it's going to happen. Uh, Sean Denny in Cincinnati had eight the other day. I haven't seen what he's up to today. Donna Perkins had six. And so it's incredible. It's off and running, right? But I got to tell you, some people that see this aren't going to want to be a customer. They're not going to want to be. Like my friend Tom Miller, he might be on here right now. 
I just gave it away, right? Mr. My friend Tom Weller didn't want to become my customer. He decided he would be a business partner because guess what industry he's in? He's in the insurance. And regional director four points out for being regional vice president. Should knock that out in a month now with ID seal here in Columbus. He sent me a text saying three years, three years. He's been chasing an insurance agent that ACM wasn't for him. He sent him the video for ID seal signed up on the spot and says, I'm going to offer this to every one of my clients, every single one of them that I sell insurance to as an additional price. So I can pull what kind of income everybody say it together. What kind of income residual income, residual income. But once people have this ID skill, they're never going to let it go because you want to be protected, right? Nobody likes to buy, but everyone likes to own, as Mr. Cooper says. It's like having homeowner's insurance. It is great having protection for your house, knowing that if I leave today and leave a candle and the house burns down, I'd have another one that's built for me, right? It feels good. And that's the same thing about this. So here's what I want you to do. This is an incredible recruiting opportunity to go back to every person that you've ever shown ACN to. And they said, you know, it's not for me. Show them ID seal. Show them how simple it is to become a customer. Show them the value we're bringing and the growth that we are expecting. The co-founders think, the co-founders know that this service by itself will be bigger than all the other services combined in ACN. In fact, that's all they want us talking about is ID seal from here on out. And I believe it's right with the momentum I've seen, the excitement of people taking off, jacked up out of our minds and approach everybody you've talked to in the past and show them this ID seal. If they're still not interested in getting in, get them as a customer. And anybody who has children, anybody who has elderly, they absolutely need to have this protection and they're gonna be protected too as they cover them. So I wanna thank everybody for getting on tonight. I went a little six minutes over on this. Uh, we are very excited about it, as you can see. Get with your team. Get with people that you haven't talked to in a while. Show them this. Go to the ID Steel page. Subscribe to it. Click like. When you watch people's YouTube videos, click like on it and put a little nice comment at the bottom. It helps the algorithm rank it higher up and chases the trolls away. Do that for your ACN friends and your ACN team and also for your ID Steel to get it running Post it to your social media, share it in private Facebook messages, send out the texts, do the training. Good luck to all of you. See you all in San Jose in 86 days, something like that. And go after that contest. I want to see how many people can get. Look, I'm coming for you, walkers. I know you guys are out there trying to win that. We're coming for Ohio too, baby. We're coming to win that contest. So good night, everyone. Have a great one. I will see you soon.